Today, I'm going to give you the routines to go pro. And now the first question you're probably wondering is, Jivan, are you even a pro? If you're claiming this is the routine to go pro, then why don't you have 100K earned? The truth is, I don't do this routine. I spend all my time making content and making maps, so I don't really have the time or energy to grind this routine. But I'm telling you, if you do grind this routine, you're gonna see crazy improvement. Timestamps are down below. I'm gonna give you a few different routines. Let's hop into the first one, which is my warm-up routine for tournament days. This is something I actually do. Every single tournament, I try to do this routine. The days I don't do this routine, I play terribly. I'm serious. So let's break this down. It's solo victory cup day. At some point in the day, within a few hours of the tournament, I try to watch just a 20 minute video of somebody crazy playing Fortnite. Whether it's Polarized, Mr. Savage, Clicks, whoever it is, I try to watch somebody. And doing this kind of gets me in the right headspace and gets me to start mimicking some of their techniques while I play. So just watch like a 20 minute video of some pro playing sometime before the solo cash cup. Not right before because you got to spend your time warming up. I usually try to get on around an hour before the tournament starts or at least 30 minutes before. And this is what I do. I start out by loading into Kovacs. Down in the description, I put three Kovacs playlists, a beginner one, intermediate and advanced. I run the advanced one, but if you're new to Kovacs and you try to go right to that, you might have some trouble. I'm going to give you guys my settings for Kovacs and more stuff later in this video, but but let's keep going with this routine. During this Kovac session, I just run a few drills a few times each. I pick like two flick training drills and two tracking drills, and I play each of those drills like three times. This only takes about 15 minutes on Kovacs, and then I load up Fortnite. By the way, if your controller, Kovacs isn't a controller game, I would recommend just skipping the first part because controller players usually have pretty solid aim. Now, every single time I get on Fortnite, I always do this specific drill. I load up the Jive and practice map codes for everything is going to be down in the description and i go in the free build with bots room this is a three-step warm-up first you go into slow motion mode and you free build all the way to height while piecing up targets along the way while you're free building in slow motion you should be focusing on consistent edits and tight crosshair placement don't be flicking your mouse all over the place you want to have really tight movements for every single edit once you reach max height on slow motion you switch it to fast motion now this should make your fingers and your arm fall off. You're gonna go absolutely ballistic, trying to be as consistent as possible with your edits. And you're gonna do the same thing, go all the way to height in fast speed. This is probably the most important part of the warm up, so make sure you don't slack off. The reason it's so important is because next up, you're going back to normal mode. And now after going super fast, normal speed is gonna feel like slow motion, and you're gonna be able to nail so many more edits. If you do this consistently, you're gonna see your edit speed and build consistency consistently increase over time. After that, you should be feeling really warm, but you need to get in your mindset for fighting, especially since in a solo cash cup, usually the first game you want to take a lot of fights. Same with the duo cash cup. So if you're going into a solo cash cup, play 1v1s to finish this warm up. If you're going into a duo cash cup, you can either 1v1 your duo or run some 2v2s. If you do that full warm up before a cash cup, you're going to be feeling good. Now, the last thing for tourney days is before a solo victory cup finals, I always Always play final moving zone wars because obviously there's that little break between opens and finals and you want to try to get in the mindset of winning an end game and so final moving zone wars is a really good place to do that that's the routine i do on every single tournament day give it a try for like a couple weeks and let me know what you think for the second part of the video we're going to be talking about mechanic training days let's say there's no tournaments on these days and you aren't in the mood to run scrims on these type of days a lot of people slack off maybe they don't play the game but if you're trying to go pro on these days, you should still train your mechanics just for a little bit. What I recommend doing on these days is think about what aspect of your game mechanically is the weakest. Is it aiming, building, crosshair placement, piece control? Figure out what you're struggling with and then hyper-focus that weakness just for like 30 minutes to an hour. So if you're struggling with aim, spend your time in Kovacs. If you're a controller player, maybe do 1v1 aim duels or any aim trainer in the game. My Jive and Practice map actually has a ton of aim training drills that you can run. And of course, I linked all those Kovacs drills down below. I told you guys I would give you my settings for Kovacs, so here they are. This gives you the field of view I have. I always make sure I hide the weapon because we don't play a first person shooter, so there's no need to see the weapon. And if you guys are trying to play my playlist, copy the share code that's down in the description and post it down here. Go to online playlist and then enter share code down there. That's how you load up a playlist. Next up, if you're struggling with building, I recommend just practicing some new build moves every time you get on. Me and Ken Beans 
have a lot of different retake videos, building guides. So just look up some tutorials, try to learn some new build moves, and the more you learn, the more confident you'll become with your building. Additionally, just run that free build drill that I showed you in the tourney day warmup, where you start on slow mode, then go to fast mode, and then end it with normal mode. You can find tutorials for any weakness that you could possibly have in the game on me and Ken Bean's channel and even other channels. So whatever weakness you're having, just search for a tutorial on YouTube and you'll find something. Now the last thing I recommend doing on these mechanic days is just playing super fast paced creative games. So for one, you could just simply run 1v1s. 1v1s instantly respawn you and then you instantly start fighting again so it's really good practice and can help you with W keying long term. I wanted to let you guys know in my all in one 1v1 map down below, we just added a score saving system. We'll be updating the leaderboard every single week so go start grinding because everybody's score is starting at zero. Now what I've been grinding recently to improve my mechanics is Forever Zone Wars. This has got to be the most fast paced map out there. You're just constantly moving, constantly in fights with people, constantly build fighting, and constantly running from the storm. It literally practices every aspect of your game. The reason I like it so much is because of the kill streaks. It makes it so much more fun because if you get a 10 kill streak, you get a nuke and you instantly win the game. We have a ton of huge plans to update this map, such as a nuke leaderboard, new kill streaks, and tons more, so stay tuned. But my advice to you guys, if you grind that map, try to play smart. Every single person is just jumping in on backside of zone. So if you play on front edge and look back, you can get free kills and it helps train your mindset to not make stupid plays and tourneys. So I recommend trying to play a bit smarter in that map. You'll get more nukes and better practice. Another thing you can grind on mechanic days is simply playing ranked. Ranked is obviously going to be the most realistic practice you can get for W King in a tournament. But the reason I don't grind ranked very much personally is because it's so slow paced compared to creative maps. Playing fast paced modes gives you faster paced practice. Even though it's less realistic, it still helps train your mechanics more. Nevertheless, ranked is a really good place to grind because it can help you gain map knowledge and get used to in-game lag. Now the last thing for these mechanic days, if you're more of a beginner player, you can practice in my how to peace control map or my how to build map. These maps actually teach you the basics of the game. So if you're more of a beginner, I definitely recommend starting in there because it'll teach you some of the basics that you can use later on. So obviously I just gave you a ton of stuff to grind on mechanic days. The reason I gave you so much stuff is that way you can switch up your routine and grind different things on different days. It gets boring doing the same thing over and over. So having variety is important. For the last part of this video, we're going to talk about scrim days. Scrim days are probably the most important thing for going pro. Truth is I really haven't scrimmed in like three seasons. I've just been too busy, but if you guys are taking the competitive grind super seriously, grind scrims. This is what your routine should look like on these days. Simply do the same routine as the tournament day. Start out by either VOD reviewing your own gameplay or watching a pro play and taking notes. Then go into Kovacs and run a few drills, do the free build with bots drill, get all your mechanics warmed up and stuff, and then run 2v2s against maybe other people in the Discord that you're scrimming in. Then once the scrims start, just focus on applying your VOD review tips in game. Scrims usually only last for two and a half to three hours, so you can get some really good quick practice. And it'll give you a place to make the mistakes that you would have made in a tournament, but you're making them in the scrims so that way you can fix it for the tournament. That's why scrim days are so important. It helps you build knowledge about your early game, mid game rotates, storm surge, everything you need for tournaments. And you can get those mistakes out of the way before tournaments actually begin. I recommend having your replays turned on, maybe even recording it with OBS if you have two PCs or something. Just trying to give yourself some way so you can watch those games back and learn from them. You can find tons of different scrim servers by just asking around, but I put a bunch down in the description for you to check out. I'm an NA player, so I recommend doing Manu scrims if you're a beginner. There's going to be zone rules in those scrims, but it's really good practice. And then if you're pretty close to going pro, you have the mechanics, you have some good tournament experience, I recommend playing playing in vital scrims. These are the pro scrims, but they split up the lobbies based on skill. So you can work your way up the scrims over time and eventually get in the pro lobbies. All of these routines throughout this video have been about three to four hour long routines. That's all it takes to go pro in my opinion. If you grind more, your chances may be a little bit higher, but personally, I don't think you need to grind 12 hours a day to go pro. You just need to put in the right work, such as scrimming, VOD reviewing, practicing your mechanics that are weakest, and you'll see fast improvement. Last thing I want to say, and I'm serious, getting a healthy routine in the rest of your life is really important to play.
playing well in tourneys. If you're working out for like 30 minutes a day, eating healthier, you'll definitely play better. Every single tournament day, I always make sure to do at least a light workout and I eat super healthy. I have smoothies, salads, hit all the nutritional groups and I feel much more on my game when I do that. That's it for this video. If you stay true to these routines, I'm telling you, you'll see major improvements. Best of luck on the grind and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.